Hi, my name is Scott. Welcome to Wolves Are Forever 38 at YouTube.com. Today I received a Evolution Tools from Evolution out of England. Um, they asked me to do a, co a collaboration uh, if I like the saw or not that I received. I'll show you that in a second. Um, the gentleman that I talked to, his name is James. Uh, I want to thank hi, thank him for it. I finally did receive it as of today. So I get to see what this tool will really do. Right now, I want to say thank you to all my friends and family that watch this. I hope this is what we're looking at. But stay tuned. This is the tool I received today. This is from Evolution Power Tools, and I have several of my tools in my garage from the 10 inch miter saw to the 15 amp steel saw that I use. And they sent me the concrete saw. So, with no later ado, let's see what this box is going to offer us. There is an Evolution Tool outlet here in the United States. It's out of Davenport, uh, Iowa. And we'll see what this has got to offer. Okay. Oh, my blade's not sharp enough. Oh, there you go. Kind of difficult to work with the thing. Make sure you use safeties. My knife is a little, it's not dull today. I've used it for damn near everything. Huh. Well, well, let's see what's in the box. I know my cats are going to enjoy it. All my cats. Loose decent packaging. Okay. There's cotton and there's blue. They're investigating now. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Some more packaging. Came with a wrench and a dust collector. So far. Ah, the book. This is an evolution tool disc cutter electric concrete saw. No water added for cooling the blade. Let's see what they got in here. It's got English, German, French, and Spanish. Warranty. Let's see what they got. The only thing I didn't... Ah, here it is. Ah. This is a 12-inch concrete saw blade. Bear with me, I'm using both hands. And that's a big blade. Now, here in the United States, we would rather have, for a 12-inch, at least cut 5 inches. This is actually going to be able to cut four inches of concrete and we'll do that t tomorrow outside I will test it for us so I thought I'd give you an overview of what it is today since we did receive it and 
they did kind enough to uh, make sure for the last few months we've been talking to getting this out. <clears throat> There's no oil that I know of. plastic bear with me on this I thought about doing live stream today but it was probably something I shouldn't have done oh oh yeah I got my house shoes on And the rest of the brew I have is starting to investigate. There's Fluffy, and there's our new one, that's Gabby. Oh, see? And this right here happens to be the plate to hold that saw into place. Okay? So... Oh, that's additional plates. Okay, that's a secondary. Here's one set. That's with that wrench that came. There's the dust cover. That wrench goes over here, takes this off, drops the blade, you drop it in there. Sorry. Like I said, the wrench that came with it, Let's see what size that is. A 10 millimeter. That's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench. Dust collector. Or dust, it's not really a collector, it's just a diverter. Two extra plates to take this. I will say the packaging was well done, it was safe. I'm sorry, my my Miss Gabby just likes to play with things. Um, so far, so good. Hold still. Well, I did plug it in, and here's what it sounds like. Without the blade. There's a little button that you push right here. Push it in. Grab this. Didn't make sure that we powered in, so they can give us a bad one. All right, folks. Every saw we both come around, it's not very hard to put in. This is the cover. See right here is where that cap goes up on the saw blade, pushes it out, diverts it from you. Sorry, diverts it. See, and then you'll push out the dust that way. When it starts cutting it. You can buy this on Amazon for about 215 bucks. Evolution sent it to me to uh, test it out, which is what I'll do for them. It does have some weight. So remember, you will have to use both hands. I'll let you know tomorrow when we actually work on it. And see how that plays out. Um, that's a feels like aluminum casting right here and right here. This is plastic back here. Looks like he's got place for bushings on one on both sides. Probably a bushing spot here. Bushing on the other side. Uh, it's a uh, straight up electric there's no water that you have to add to it the rpms on here should be about 5500 rpms 4500 to 
Oh, bear with me. Give you a better thing. This is a 12, 12 inch, 305 millimeter electric disc cutter. 15 amp, 4 inch cut. No fumes, but do make sure you wear a mask on it because of the dust. Uh, ear protection would probably be recommended, highly recommended. Uh, total weight of this thing is about 21 pounds when cutting it, and do wear gloves. Let's see if it gives you the RPMs on this. So I did my research a while ago, and it shows you on the box what you can cut. Various types of stonework, uh, no fumes, mid grain in the handle, and up to four inches solid cut. Now, I used my Evolution tool, my uh, stone cutter, when we did our bathroom. And uh, it wears out. But it did still cut, so the blades here are anywhere between $45 to $60, depends on where you buy them at. In our area, in Home Depot and Lowe's, Home Depot and Lowe's, you will have uh, a time, time piece on it that will take a little time to get it to you. Beside that, and the blades itself, Amazon carries them. I usually get any of my Amazon blades from uh, Evolution for any of my projects. It takes somewhere about a week tops. If you got Prime, it'll take you less than that. So far, I've never had a problem. They are Japanese steel. And these are diamond bitted as well. I did ask Evolution, do they have a 12 inch steel saw? Because it's a saw. And most saws should be able to be adaptable. They told me no. Anything is possible. Before I turn around and go in there, we're going to be cutting some stone tomorrow. Outside in the backyard, if the weather permits. If not, this will be probably the next week when I actually get a chance because the weather is supposed to be a little bit more than 30 degrees and 40 degrees outside and the ground still saturated. We did just come out of winter. This is almost the first game of spring. Um, my projects for outside uh, will be part of the front yard to dig into the ground. I've got a stone wall to cut with this to cut into and this will be perfect. Redo some of the stonework outside. Let this thing have at it. Um, Tomorrow I got some cinder block. I'll get some cinder block so we can play with it, just to test it out. And then I'll have to order a couple more um, blades for this uh, before I really get too busy. Uh, my 10 inch miter saw from Evolution, the concrete blade. Uh, if you remember rightly, in one of my videos, I used it to cut the patio out back. The stonework on uh, granite as well as concrete, clean. It did produce dust, but that's normal. Had a little bit of spark, but I did have granite. Um, then I used the same blade that finally dulled out when I cut the tile work for the missus when she laid the, um, the tile work in the bathroom. So other than that, that's all it is. Folks, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Me and my wife both want to say thank you as well. I hope this year is 2019. I hope a little bit more outcoming of the more videos. I would like to see a 1,000 plus subscribers. Before the summer, I'm shooting for 100,000 or better, and honestly, I'm hoping so. So, to no later ado, I'll get this out online. I want to thank you again. Peace out.